So I took my uh, my hatch off. This thing's kind of <laughs> needs to be beaten back into submission. That's for sure. Pull the bolts out. I think I'm gonna soak these little fellas in uh, CLR because they are they are pretty rusty. Threads are all still there and everything, oddly enough. But definitely uh, that area needs to be cleaned out. And, oh yeah, that track could be cleaned out a little bit. I don't think any of this dirt would be packed in there if the, uh, the door sealed a little bit better. I gotta clean this out, because this is actually, there's a vent underneath here. So this is letting anything that comes in the bed go right directly into the pit. And part of the stuff that falls into the pit goes right on to the distributor. And you can see this poor little fella. That kind of explains why it doesn't like uh, driving through rainy weather. Because <laughs> that thing's been getting pretty drenched from the looks of things. Other than that, I mean, as you can see, it runs pretty good. So this is the four-wheel drive model. And... Um, so one of, the, one of the other guys that I've been watching on his video uh, channel, he's been showing his engine. His engine is pretty much set more back to this hole, whereas mine being the four-wheel drive version, my engine is set further forward. I've got the transfer case here. And I might add, what an adorable transfer case this is. Honestly, this is the first time I've really looked at it from up above. Uh, and if you're familiar with transfer cases, just this this piece here, it, it's so cute. It's it's really it's indescribable. Just for comparison, the transfer case on my FJ40, I think my shift lever weighed more this, than this entire transfer case. It's, it's pretty amazing. Anyways, I digress. So I'm gonna I'm gonna clear this track out, get all this junk out of here get that drain working again get this just cleaned up as I as I can and then uh, well work on beating this door back into submission because that's clearly not what that's supposed to look like somebody vibrating there and then another thing I discovered well some process of cleaning stuff up this up so you can see it. This thing in here, whatever that is, and I honestly don't know what it is. It looks like it's got a fuel return line, so maybe it's like a uh, charcoal canister or something. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look it up. Anyways, there's a vacuum line on top of it that's broken off flush, so I'm either gonna have to uh, replace that thing or you can uh, just try and make a new fitting for it. I might just try and make a new fitting for it. Because I'm not sure if the place in that's going to be in the cards. Um, and whatever it is, if, as long as I probably have a, another piece on that to go straight into the top, it'll probably be okay. These are the drains from the bed, by the way. So this drain is what goes to, well, you can't see it, but there's a hole in there. Where they're supposed to be, just like that one over there. So this, this right here is underneath the driver's seat in the four-wheel drive version. So my air cleaner's right here. Uh, I can check the oil and stuff on the other side. So yeah, a lot of a lot of my stuff seems to be shifted a lot further forward than on the four-wheel drive version. Not crazy, but just uh, push this up from the bottom. Drain holes open now. Get the rest of this stuff out of here, and we're uh, good to go. Also, gonna clean these out and uh, get some anti seeds in these holes. You only get lucky for so long with that kind of stuff. So they're a little rusty, but not terrible. I'm gonna be able to reuse them. They're all the same size, and they look like the ones that are supposed to be in there. So I'm gonna get these cleaned up, and then I'm gonna take and uh, paint them. And then once I get the anti-seize on them, and the anti-seize those holes back up, those holes will be fine. And I'll beat that door into submission. 
Yeah. What do you think, dude? He doesn't care. So, this is the stuff. CLR. You can get this stuff from Walmart. I am not uh, being sponsored by these guys. But if they do want to sponsor me and send me gallons of this stuff, I use it. So, yeah, go right ahead, CLR. Send me some CLR. <laughs> but, yeah, until that big sponsorship deal, I'll just be doing this on my own. Heavy-duty preparation of just dumping them in there. And I'm going to need my other hand so I can unscrew the container and pour it in so that it's basically just covering them. That's it. This stuff actually works a little bit better when it's warmer, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this back in the house and just set it on the counter. My wife's gone shopping, so she'll never notice. Okay, so I laid it down on a flat surface and I stomped the living crap out of these things. I'm not going to simulate this because, well, it was very loud and my legs actually hurt now from stomping it. But that's pretty darn close now. Only thing I need to do is I got to fix these edges, but I can't fix these edges by stomping them because these actually have to be. Uh, set on a flat surface, but they can't be set on a flat surface because of these So I'm gonna have to go around this with like a 2 by 4 or something and then just beat that flat in relation to itself So this this edge all the way around with The exception of can't got to make sure not to uh, like flatten these things down because That is actually part of the bed drain. All right, so this is on a straight edge this will better illustrate why well, I need to beat this flat. So, you know, this one's this one's pretty low. As you can see, that's this one's actually probably a little lower than it needs to be. This here isn't touching at all. This one here is probably a little bit lower, but you can see that high side there. So yeah, that all has to be beat down. Use my brass drift and a hammer, and basically. Got it as good as I could get it all the way around. So now when I lay it down, it's not it's not rocking and rattling. So it's not perfect, but it's flat-ish. So if I look at this here, I've got these pounded back up. These were inverted pretty bad. Um, so I brought the things up that need to come up, brought the things down that need to come down. And that's about all I can do with that. I mean, this is this is just an engine cover. This isn't this isn't a beauty piece, but it would definitely be nice to have it in marginally better shape than it was, which it is. So mission accomplished. All right. So I know it probably doesn't look it, but this is actually a lot better than it was before. It was pretty much inverted. Once these are down, there's still going to be a little bit of a gap there, but it's not going to be anything crazy. We shouldn't get any giant sticks or anything like that in there now. These uh, drain points are open, so any water that goes up toward the front will go out there, or it'll go out here. But it's going out. It's not going to stay in that track. And uh, that's kind of all I'm looking for. This is, after all, a pickup truck. All right. Finally broke down and did it. So this container here, my buddy Kyle, he had actually gotten this from his uncle's shop. This is Uncle had a uh, little machine shop that they used to work in their dump trucks and all this other stuff. I think I think we got this. Oh, the bottom of this container has an 88 on it. Just emptied this sucker out. I know I've had it since at least probably the 1990s because we used to use it in my shop to work on the Jeeps and stuff like that. So... This is a very, very, very old container. My ROI was really good, especially since, well, we stole it from Glenn. <laughs> but yeah, look at this. Finally, a new one of my very own. Glenn, wherever you are, buddy, I appreciate the last 40 some odd years worth of uh, 
and he sees, and I found this little creature in the in the glove compartment. What in the holy but Jesus cat snack is this? <laughs> I don't know, man, but I'm gonna keep it just in case. Prevents rust and quick drying. Well, I don't know about the quick drying part. This is dripping. I don't know if you can see this in the video or not, but it's, it's dripping. I have never had Rust-Oleum do that. So this magic is definitely not magic. This stuff is garbage. I had to get something on this because this needed a coating on there. I did a light coating and the light coating started dripping. I don't know. I've had that with this kind of paint before. And it's just... It's just really, really thin, watery stuff. It's terrible. So, yeah. I'm not pleased with that. I will never buy any of that stuff again. All right. Successfully got away with uh, this stuff in the house overnight. It's about as, it's about as clean as these guys are going to get. So, once the uh, now that the rust is taken off of those, I will pull them out. And I will take and I will just throw a quick coat of paint on and they're good to go. So this is it. I mean, they're not, uh, they're not 100%. You can see all that's about the fifth layer that's come off of these things. But this is what they end up looking like. So there's still a little bit of stuff on there because they were rust pitted. But all the washers are free. And what I'll do is I'll stand them up like this and then I will paint them. Probably gonna do like silver or something like that. But once they're uh, once they're completely dry, they'll look fine. All right, so I have my old standby of Rust-Oleum paint and I'm gonna take and uh, I'm gonna paint these little guys up. They're gonna be black which should contrast nicely with that crappy magic paint that's on that. All right, so. Had to get it to focus a little bit there. So that's flat black paint on here. All my washers are loose. So they'll spin around and everything won't hopefully grind off when I go to put them on. And now I'm gonna secure that deck lid. All righty. Just gonna get these snug down by hand and then I'm gonna come back through with the ratchet and just tighten them up. I got everybody threaded in there. All the threads are nice. Uh, there's anti-seize on them. Excellent, I can live with that. There's a little bit of a gap here, maybe like an eighth of an inch, but nothing enough to get large pieces of wood or anything like that through. Overall, it looks pretty good. I'm happy with the, uh, the fit and finish of the screws. I think they, the bolts rather. They came out pretty nice. Eventually what I'm gonna do is this whole load deck is gonna be that bed liner stuff anyways. So I wasn't super worried about the uh, the crappy drippy paint job that's on this because I'm gonna scuff sand that stuff again and I'm gonna end up putting that spray on bed liner stuff. Probably with the crackle finish because that'll just be halfway decent looking and it'll hide a lot of the uh, the sins this deck has been subjected to. All right, I'm gonna consider this job done. Angry Cricket out.